Midge fell on his back, screaming. The disgusting old man stopped. He raised both fists in his head, roaring like a raging lion. I burst out laughing. My friend Brad uh, Dealey pulled off the old man mask and tossed it in the tug of the rubber mask off his face. He started to laugh, too. He flashed me a thumbs up. It didn't take Mitch to for long to figure out what it was up. I told uh, him that was really smart. You pulled this land the whole thing, right? I nodded. Brad sneaked in the, uh, sneaked to hid in the closet while you were having your milk and cookies. Did I scare you? Brad asked, Mitch grinning. Mitch leapt to his feet with an angry roar. He flung himself at me and started pounding at both fists. You jerk! You jerk! Okay, okay! I said, squirming away, trying to protect myself. Stop! It was a joke, okay? A stupid joke, Mitch said, breathing hard. A stupid joke from a stupid girl. I guess he liked it, Brad said. Brad has a dry sense of humor, but he loves to play jokes on you know, this on people. He never fails, if feels bad if he scares them. Actually, I never seen Brad feel bad. He is always mellow. He's just floating in the air. You know what you know what I mean? Brad has a lot of friends, parents like him, um, too. I guess he was just uh, just the happiest, easiest kid to know. You're not funny, you're stupid, Mitch cried. I hate your stories, they're too dumb like you. I clapped my hands to his shoulders and pushed him away so he wouldn't punch me anymore. Sorry, I said. I wanted to get ready for Halloween. It was a joke, Mitch. You're a joke, he screamed. You're a stupid joke. Tell you what, tomorrow night I'll tell you a funny story. Not a scary story. How does that sound? I don't like funny stories, he growled. I guess I, he wanted to stay angry. So I said goodnight, and Brad followed me out of Mitch's room downstairs to the den. We passed Mom and Dad, who in the living room, they were uh, hunch watching the TV, playing a wee tennis game, swinging their arms, and diving for the invisible ball. My parents love video games. Weird, right? Brad dropped me to the edge of the couch and picked uh, up an empty popcorn bowl. You didn't save any. You save me any? You know what? Devin gobbled it all up. He spilled a lot on the floor. You can eat these. Hey, thanks. My phone dinged. I picked it up and a glance at the screen. Text messages from Polly. Want to talk about my party? I turned the phone upside down on the coffee table. What are, what are we going to do about Polly's? his party was asked Brad uh, I asked Brad should we just uh, uh, just die of boredom he bounced a popcorn between the couch cushions and popped in the kernels into his mouth we don't need to live it up he said duh we need to do something crazy something random you know maybe something to scare everyone he grinned we're good at that your brother will never speak to me again forget him I said, thinking hard. We need to do something. Really frightening on Polly's party. And make everyone scream. Uh, we both thought of her silence for a while. Then Brad kept turning the, the, old, the rubber old man mask between his hands. Finally, he raised his head. His eyes flashed. Hey, I got an idea. I got an idea. What about this? 